Welcome to today's video everybody. Today we are going to be doing another unboxing video. I know that's two in one week, which is something that I haven't really done before. It's usually like one every month or so, every couple of months, you know, something like that. But with that being said everybody, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Seagate Expansion 5 terabyte desktop external hard drive today. All right, I ordered this off Amazon. It is USB 3.0, which means one thing. It is compatible with the PS4 hard drive upgrade uh, update that they did with the PlayStation 4.5 update. All right, now I uh, I ordered this about a week ago because obviously that uh, that update came out just recently and I obviously want to get some more hard drive space for my PlayStation 4. So with that being said, I will be showing you guys today the unboxing of the Seagate 5 terabyte desktop external hard drive, but at the same time I'll also be showing you guys a setup on how to actually set the hard drive and stuff up with the PlayStation 4. And just in case you guys want to go ahead and buy this hard drive for yourself, 5 terabytes is plenty of space in my personal opinion for all of your games on PlayStation, which is the exact reason I bought this. But at the same time, this can be used for other purposes as well. So maybe sometime when I don't need hard drive space or something like that, I can just wipe the hard drive and use it as an external hard drive for my computer. You know what I mean? It's multi-purpose. I never actually had an external hard drive before, so this is going to be kind of cool to me. Uh, but with that being said, I will try to leave a link for you guys down in the description below. I'll try to remember to do it for Amazon.ca, and I'll try to remember to leave the one there for Amazon.com, alright? So, this is again, just to reiterate, Seagate Expansion 5TB Desktop External Hard Drive. USB 3.0. It has to be 3.0 or it won't work with the PlayStation 4. Uh, with that being said, here we go guys. We got the box right here. I'm not going to show you the front of it, because it has my address on it. So. Box is right here. I'm just going to set it down on the desk and get my knife and start opening it. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I ordered this, like I said, about a week ago. Um, and I got like the free delivery because I don't have Amazon Prime. And uh, I mean, it, kind of, it was kind of pricey. This is actually $169.99, obviously, plus tax. Uh, for me, it came to about, I think, in total, with a couple of things that I had saved in my Amazon account. Uh, like, um,. Uh, not really coupons, but uh, basically promotion offers and stuff that I had saved from other orders. Um, I think it came to about $183. Now, again, it is kind of pricey, but at the same time, it is worth it. You know, I can't really download any of my games right now on PlayStation 4. I can maybe download, I'd say, roughly around eight of them. And that, out of the entire, like, hundred or so that I've bought... Uh, and like the thousands of dollars that I spent on PlayStation games, I can't really download any of them uh, because I have to kind of pick and choose, you know, because there's not enough hard drive space on that 500 gig hard drive that came with the PlayStation. You know, it's just, it's just not a thing. And uh, I needed this. I'm glad they finally, you know, came out with the hard drive support. I'm definitely happy about it. You know, I definitely am. And I'm looking forward to going ahead and getting this set up. And there we go, guys. There's the hard drive right there. The box in the box. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and put that box aside over there on the bed. And uh, we'll go ahead and get right into this thing, all right? So as you guys can see, it's the 5 terabyte expansion desktop drive for your PC, apparently. But you can use it for the PS4. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to go ahead and get into it. Uh, one year limited warranty actually as well, so if anything happens to this within one year, uh, I can return it to the manufacturer and get a new one or maybe a refund. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this, all right? So it's wrapped in plastic. Uh, I'm going to obviously have to take that off. All right, guys, we have the product open. It is now out of the box and right here on the stand, along with some, like, corking or I don't know what the hell you call this packaging, but... Whatever it is, it definitely keeps it safe. Kind of smells too, so we're just going to go ahead and put that out of the way. Uh, and we got some other things with it. Of course, a booklet probably on, like, a, it's a quick start guide, you know. Uh, I mean, it's a, an external hard drive. You pretty much just plug and play the thing. So this kind of kind of useless at this point, but I will keep it just in case anything happens. And it's a lot more complicated than I originally assumed, maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyway... I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the bag. Here's the hard drive itself. As you guys can see, it sort of has a texturing on it, which I think is very nice. 
I actually, this is one of the reasons why I got it, is because of the texturing itself. I know that's not really, uh, you know, that big of a deal, but I think that it's a very nice texture to it. Um, I think that it looks nice, especially, if you guys can really check out the texture, especially in the lighting and everything like that. There you go. And of course, we have Seagate right down here. If you guys can see that, you might not be able to, I don't know. Uh, but nonetheless, there it is. It stands on this side right here because it actually has a couple of rubber things on the back end of it. So it will stand up just like that, obviously on a desk or a table or you know something like that. And the plug-in ports for it, uh, as you guys can see, one right here for the power adapter. It does need to plug in. Um, that's kind of one thing. That's not too great about it is because it doesn't really rely on the power supply off of like the USB 3.0. Uh, it's not really a deal breaker for me. The only way around that is to actually get the portable version of this and the portable version of it is actually more expensive. So, I mean, either you plug it in, you pay less or you get the portable version and, you know, you pay more, but you don't have to plug it in. You just have to bring around the USB cord. And again, it's this is for my PlayStation, so that wasn't really... A deal breaker you know it really wasn't now the accessories for this hard drive do come in a little tiny box just like this fit inside the box alongside the hard drive you just have to pull it out open it just like the accessories in like the ps4 box if you guys remember that uh, you just pull it out of course all that's in here is going to be the USB 3.0 cable that connects to your ps4 or your computer uh, to your hard drive you know I mean that's what that is right there uh, again, it does not supply power. You will have to plug in your power supply, okay? So keep that in mind. And with that being said, here is your power supply. Now, I mean, it's it, it's somewhat big. I mean, it's to be expected, you know what I mean? It's supposed to provide power to the entire hard drive and, you know, keep obviously that powered. Um, and, you know, that, that, that does its job right there. So it's not really a big deal for me. Again, I mean, this is just, a, a, you know, a, a hard drive that you keep at home, you know, an external hard drive that you keep at home. Of course, you can bring it places, but you have to bring the cord with it, you know what I mean? Uh, just one extra cord. It's, it's not really that big of a deal, I don't think, uh, especially when this one's cheaper than the portable version. And I'm pretty sure the portable version also doesn't go up to five terabytes. I believe it was four terabytes max, or that's at least what I saw at the time. So uh, if I was to go with the portable version, I would even have, you know, one terabyte less and when it comes to my video games and stuff that I already spent so much money on, you know, well, why not Why not get more? And it, it wasn't really any more expensive. It was pretty much the exact same price uh, for the portable 4 terabyte or the desktop 5 terabyte, right? It's a no-brainer in my opinion. It's just not something that I needed to lug around, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't need it. Alright, so there we go. We have the USB 3.0. Uh, we have, obviously, the power adapter right here, and uh, they clearly plug into the hard drive and then into the machine that you are going to be using it for. Uh, for me, specifically, like I said, that is for the PlayStation 4. So I'm going to boot up the old Elgato, we're going to sync up the gameplay, I'm going to be in the top right, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this set up on the play. This? We're not going to get this set up on the PlayStation 4, sorry, I just held up what was ever in my hand. Um, Anyway, we're going to get this set up on the PlayStation 4, and we're going to show you how it works, and probably start downloading some games that I have, alright? Because there's a lot of them, and uh, I want to I want to play some of them again, because it's been a while for some of them, especially Fallout 4. Definitely looking forward to getting back into that. Alright, I'll see you guys over on the PlayStation 4. Alright guys, so I'm kind of holding the camera in a bit of a weird spot right now. I'm literally holding the camera on the tripod, which I've never done there with the webcam before. It's a bit awkward. And I do apologize for it, but it's the only way I can show you guys what exactly is going on, okay? So, if I can get you guys close without making it really freaking awkward or without my microphone dropping too much, because I'm kind of stepping away from it, so maybe I have to yell. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, as you guys can see here, uh, we have the Seagate 5 terabyte external hard drive right there. Uh, it's plugged in right here through USB all the way down here into the PlayStation. And of course, it's powered right there as well, all the way down here uh, to the power bar, if you guys can... I, I don't know how to show that. There, right there, if you guys can see that. So there you guys go. That's the whole setup, alright? So, now, we're gonna go over to the PlayStation, which is obviously right here. And uh, I'll show you guys what to do on that once you get it, uh, once you get it plugged in, okay? 
as you guys can see, as soon as I plugged it in, there's a little light on top of it as well that uh, started to glow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a blue light, and um, I mean, it's working obviously, so let's sit down and uh, take a look at it. Okay guys, we are on the PlayStation right now, let's go ahead and go up there and take a look at it. We're on the PlayStation now, as you guys can see my home screen. Uh, they added, with the addition of the hard drive update, they actually added custom themes. So I got a Walking Dead theme, uh, in addition, like, with the comic books and stuff. So it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty badass. You just go on the PlayStation browser, and you can literally search for anything. Uh, and, you know, take a screenshot of it, make it your home screen, and it's as simple as that. It's pretty cool. So as you guys can see here, as I plugged in the hard drive, notification popped up right here, okay? Uh, it says you can install applications on a USB storage device. Now, we're not going to go ahead and do that because that was just like a, a random notification that popped up just letting you know, you know, what's going on. And uh, you want to go over here to settings and you actually want to go ahead and go down to storage. Now, once you get to storage, you will see two things. You will see system storage, uh, like it says right here. <laughs> Upon further examination, you do have to go to the notification that pops up here. Uh, or there might be another way to get to it, I'm not too sure, but anyways, you go here, you click on the discover thing, and you click on go to USB storage devices, because that's what it's coming up right now as, it's coming up as a USB storage devices, which is why it's not showing up in the storage section, okay? So, once you get here, you will see this expansion desk, once you click on that, you will need to click format as extended storage, that's what you need to do, you have to format the entire thing, and if this is an old hard drive, just be aware that it will remove everything that you've ever put on it, okay? So if you guys have some photos or videos or anything like you you want backed up, you know, on that hard drive, if you want to save it somewhere else, that's what you need to do because it will literally wipe everything. So anyways, I don't have anything on this one. As you guys know, it's new. Just did an unboxing. So go ahead, go through with the format. It'll do a please wait. Uh, this device will be formatted as extended storage. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And uh, obviously it will go ahead and format, and then it will be set up for extended storage. Now, I didn't know exactly what to do there. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I didn't have a clue. Um, we, we sort of figured it out together. Okay, so this device has been formatted as extended storage. Applications will now be installed in extended storage. To change the install location for applications, go to settings, go to storage, and then go to application install location in the options menu. To stop using extended storage, press and hold the PS button to display the quick menu and then click stop using the extended storage. So that's basically if you guys want to remove the hard drive, you know, if you're not using it right now, if you guys want to save power or something or, you know, something like that. I'll probably be doing that quite a bit because I don't really want to necessarily constantly keep it on because that will be a lot of wear and tear, especially on like the power supply and the hard drive itself. So I will be using that feature quite a bit, the whole stop using this extended storage, and I'll probably unplug it. Uh, but that being said, it's not that big of a deal, and there you guys go. All right, so expansion desk, we have 222 kilobytes in use of 4.6 terabytes, which is cool, to say the least. All right, so now, guys, if you go over to settings on the PlayStation home screen, you guys will see your storage appearing here in the storage section. Now, it wasn't there initially because it wasn't formatted. I had to figure it out. Uh, but with that being said, you go to that notification that pops up when you plug one in and just format it from there. Now, as you guys can see, you have my system storage, which is the 500 gigs built into the PlayStation 4. And then, of course, you have the extended storage, which is the one I just put in. The 5 terabytes, it's 4.60 terabytes. Uh, you know, they have to have a little bit of a room, I guess. Unfortunately, here we apparently only get 4.6 terabytes, which is like 400 gigs less. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Uh, but that's usually kind of what happens with like USB drives and desktop hard drives and stuff like that. They always seem to allocate a little space to something, you know? It's kind of weird, especially with... It, it allocates space to like the format of things. Again, it's it, it's definitely kind of weird that it takes up 400 gigabytes. I don't really understand that. Uh, but I guess um, it is what it is, I, I suppose. So anyways, with that being said, that is the application install location, which means now we can go on over to library and we can start downloading everything that I have purchased. So we can download Battlefield 4. We could download Borderlands Handsome Collection. We could download, of course, anything else that I have here. Um, of course, that being Infinite Warfare, I could re-download that, Modern Warfare Remastered, I didn't really play those, so I wanted to get rid of some things. I'm going to re-download, of course, Destiny, 
Uh, I'm going to definitely re-download Dying Light, probably Drive Club. Uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, Far Cry 4, we have Fallout 4. Um, Game of Thrones, of course, we can get all those games back on the hard drive as well, back on the PlayStation 4, which means one thing and one thing only, I will have more content to bring you guys, because I was only able to really download a few games on the PlayStation 4 at once, and then I had, to, I had to pick and choose, you know what I mean? Now I have a variety, and now I can actually have all of my games on the PlayStation at once and be able to play them whenever I want. You know, instead of having to pick and choose which one I want to delete and which one I want to install that particular day of the week... Now I can have them all installed and be able to have that freedom, I guess, in a way. So, I mean, again, I have all of these games. Just Cause 3 is definitely a game I wanted to finish. Never really had the space on the hard drive. As we keep scrolling down, I mean, just all these games are sort of coming to pass. There's a bunch of, like, free PlayStation Plus games that I really got the chance to download as well. Uh, We have Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zero, Metro 2033... Uh, we have Monopoly, that's not really important. Uh, NBA, of course, we have just, we, ha- we have a bunch. We even have Overwatch, you know, I have that on disc. So, I mean, if you guys want to see gameplay of that, I can definitely do it. I don't really enjoy the game too much. It's not really something I'm particularly good at, but that's not really the problem. I, I, I just don't see the fun in it too much, I guess. Don't crucify me. We have Resident Evil games. We have, of course, like Rocket League, Saints Row. Uh, Sleeping Dogs that I just recently bought and never really downloaded because I didn't have the space for it. Um, What else do we have here? We have, again, just a bunch of free games that I got for PlayStation Plus. Tales from the Borderlands, I never finished that yet. We have The Crew that I can re-download. We have The Last of Us that I need to download as well. I have that on disc, but uh, The Walking Dead, Season 1, Michonne, Season 2, we can finish all those. The Wolf Among Us, I can definitely finish that as well. Uh, this War of Mine, not really sure what that's about, but I think it was a free game, I believe. Tom Clancy's The Division, I haven't touched that in, like, forever. We have Tomb Raider, um, again, more free games. We have WWE 2K16, we have 2K17, we have Watch Dogs 2. Uh, we have a ton of free games, guys, and I'm really excited to start downloading all of them and see exactly how many I can fit, because I'm pretty sure I could probably download this entire library and still have space left. I'm almost positive on that fact. But the first download that we're going to do right now is going to be Fallout 4 because that's a game that I never actually got to touch to the full potential and to my full ability because I've never had the space for it. And uh, that might sound like a stupid excuse, but there's been so many other games that have come out that I've bought and that my friend Randall has bought and I've just never got the chance to play Fallout 4. Now I can, instead of having to pick and choose. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. That is it, all right? I mean, that it, it is what it is. It's an external hard drive. It, it's not rocket science, you know? And um, I'm definitely happy that they finally brought out the support for it. You know, it's better late than never. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, because this hard drive update definitely helped the shit out of me. I will say that. And if you guys, again, want a link to the 5 terabyte hard drive that I am currently using now, I will leave a link in the description below. And I will see you guys on the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the setup and the unboxing video and all of that jazz. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody.